Hi guys and welcome to a vMix build setup video where I'm gonna showcase how I'm making my Dota 2 gameplay for YouTube Shorts. But let's begin with taking a look at what this build is actually capable of, so roll the video! So that's what we're gonna try to create and it's gonna be made in a really efficient and relaxing way. So let's take a look at what we have inside this vMix build. First we have vMix Replay A, then vMix Replay B, then we have this desktop capture, I'm gonna talk about soon, and then we have audio cable and then these three other ones, the Focusrite and desktop capture here and this thumbnail, they aren't really part of the construct, it only contains four inputs in total. But there are a lot of different shortcuts behind the scenes. Let's go to settings and let's click on the shortcuts. And as you can see, there's a bunch of shortcuts that are being used inside this vMix setup. We're not going to go over all the shortcuts, but we're going to touch at some of them later on in the video. Let's begin with looking at this cog desktop capture. Let's go to the cog wheel and position. As you can see, I have been cropping out so that it's currently on this one, 766, and the, this one, 1154 to start up creating the YouTube short they mentions. If you look at the preview window, this is how it's gonna look like when you're sitting and recording. And that is just gonna help out making sure that you're staying in focus so that you know what's gonna be inside the picture. Now, let's start Dota. The method that I'm gonna be showcasing pretty much works with any form of a game you can think of, but Dota is a really good example for this video. First thing we need to do is to bring the Dota audio into vMix. So if you go over here to audio, you can see that I have selected that the sound device is gonna to go to virtual cable. And that is this input right here, audio cable output. So everything that sounds on the virtual cable is gonna enter into the vMix. I've actually made a video about that, so you can take a look at that in the top right corner. However, for this video purpose, I'm gonna remove the audio so you can focus on what I'm saying instead. Now let's see if we can find something inside Dota to record videos from. So let's go to replace inside watch here. And uh, yeah, here we have a game. So let's see, here we have 22 kills on Luna. And oh, 17 kills on Undying. Let's download this replay and then let's click watch the replay. So we're inside and we're watching. Let's actually speed it up so we get past a certain point. So we're inside the actual game. Let's slow it down a tiny bit to this trick. Let's go to Hero Chase and let's go to Undying because we noticed that Undying had a lot of kills in this game. We want to see all of that cool action. Let's minimize that. And let's jump over to my vMix production instead. And let's see how that looks like. So as you can see in the desktop capture, the small one in the preview window, we have a smaller window focus. So now as I, I highly recommend having dual monitors when you're doing this, so that you will know when you are inside video focus. But now this is where this system really kicks in and creates that relaxing recording that's just happening on automatic. So here we have vMix Instant Replay A. What Instant Replay is doing is continuously recording what's in the output. This is currently in the output that is going infinite. We're gonna move this to the output pretty soon. But what it also does is that you can click on one of these minus five keys and minus 10 keys. They can also be shortcutted, which I have done. So you don't need to click on this specifically. But what will happen is that you're recording what has happened five seconds back in the timeline. Let me actually showcase my Elgato Stream Deck. So here I have one second, Instant replay recording, you have 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 4 seconds, and 5 seconds. So let's jump into the Dota game. So currently nothing is really happening. So I have some hotkeys that is speeding up the function, so now he's running around a little bit faster. So now we're getting to some points where cool things are happening, but I don't think we're gonna have anything that is okay, actually slow it down. So let's put it here on 1.5 speed. I usually have it running around in 1.5 speed. That is usually where, the, it, because it, it creates that very interesting fast pace look to the video. Bruce Lee actually did this in all of his martial arts video. He speeded up the video so that it looked like everyone is doing things really fast 
in their action sequences. So we're basically just running through the video in really fast speed just to find something that is piquing our interest. For example, oh, now he's big, he's a big flesh golem. Let's actually slow down a tiny bit and see what happens here. Boom! And boom, oh, that's a good hit. Let's actually set three seconds record of that. He kills something. Let's put two seconds on that as well. Let's speed up this thing. Boom, fighting. Let's put it on one and yeah, and record that four seconds as well. So let's jump over to vMix Instant Replay and see what we have recorded. So here we have four seconds of this. Let's actually play event. So what we're seeing here, we're smashing, smashing, and boom, we killed the Earthshaker. And here we have two seconds event of... Ah, uh, yeah, that wasn't so good. Let's actually remove that. It's pretty unsatisfying. And here we have three seconds of smash on the... Lion. So what you basically do here is that you're sitting and watching the Dota gameplay replay in the speed that you want to have it, chasing the specific hero. And whenever you see something, oh, I want to have that inside my video, you click one of these instant replay seconds and you're recording what you've currently seen three seconds or four seconds back in time. Which means you don't need to sit there and go back and forth when you're watching the video. You just watch the video through it Sometimes you speed it up, so yes, you're just going past the boring sections, and we're starting to know that, oh, I'm getting into some exciting parts. You slow down the video, you wait, maybe you slow down, it's so slow motion that you get this really awesome looking slow motion hits, and you hit the keys when you need to. This is kind of how it looks like. I'm just sitting here and I'm watching it go really fast, and he's killing things. I highly recommend having hotkeys on your keyboard to slow down and speed up the replay during the game or so suddenly something is happening he's really in a tight spot right now so let's put the speed to one here and let's see what's gonna happen and he dies let's add four seconds to that replay so we have recorded that too we're back in action trying to see if we can find something interesting to record oh he's getting close to enemies right now oh let's go down to the speed let's actually make it really slow so we can catch things let's increase it to one here and boom and he got him! So let's add that to 4 seconds as well. Still something is happening, he might get this guy. Or he might die, I don't know, let's see what happens. He's getting hit, he's dying, very close. And he died, so let's add that to 4 seconds as well. So now we have these 5 sections added to the instant replay. So if we go here and play all, this is what we are seeing. So we currently see all of the segments being played together. And he's dying. He's mostly dying in this video, honestly. He's killing something here. And he is dying again. There you go. So let's say for this example that we're done. We have recorded all the segments we want to have and we want to produce a video out of that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move vMix Instant Replay to the output and we're going to start recording. And I highly recommend setting up a hotkey for that so that you have a key inside your Elgato Stream Deck or on your keyboard. So when you click that key, you are doing the same both of those things at the same time. So let's say we're done. We have recorded all the segments we want to have. And now we want to produce a video out of that. We want to combine them all together. So here I have a hotkey, this one. If I click on this one, I'm going to do three things. I'm going to start the recording down here that is already actually recording at the moment. I'm going to move the vMix Instant Replay to the output. And I'm going to hit play all on the replace, which means I'm going to play all my segments together. So let's click on that key. Boom. And we have transitioned into the vMix replay A. And we have started to play all the segments together. And we started recording. So now we are watching and we are recording inside vMix everything we have segmented into our instant replay. And that is basically it. This is a very simple system that allows you to basically sit and watch a gameplay replay with one hand tweaking this replay speed so that you can speed it up and slow it down depending on how you want to watch it. And one hand touching the hotkeys. So if you see something you want to record, something you want to bring in, you click the five seconds, four seconds or three seconds to go back into the past and grab what you've seen and bring it straight into your system. After this, you need to bring your video into your editing program so you can tweak the dimensions so that it fits into the YouTube shorts. And you should probably put some music into the video as well. Thank you so much for watching and good luck with your production.